In this video, we're going to show you how to encrypt a folder, not with just one password, but with two. The first password is in case you're being forced to reveal the password of your folder. And that will reveal a five gigabyte file with your not so secret files. However, were you to type in the second password that you have, then that would reveal the top secret files. But nobody expects you to have two passwords for one folder. This folder you can then copy onto a USB drive. So let's get on with the show. The first thing we need to do is to download the VeraCrypt encryptor. Now this is a freeware so there's no need to pay for any other software. And I'd advise you to download the portable version because you can then put this folder onto your USB file in order to open up the secret file, which you might take with you on a USB file. Now, you click the portable folder and I've already downloaded this. So let's go and look at the file. Here you can see the VeraCrypt portable. So let's install it. Notice that we're not installing it into your hard drive as such. We're installing it onto a folder on your desktop called VeraCrypt. Because it's portable, you can then place this into any USB drive you have and use it from there. Now you can make a donation, but I don't wish to. And here you have the files. So here's the VeraCrypt folder. You simply double click on it and you run the veracrypt.exe. This is the only one you run all the time. So what we're going to do now is make this five gigabyte folder on the desktop. So the first thing we need to do is create a volume where you're going to put your secret files. So click create volume. And we're going to create an encrypted file container. Now, most people would just create a standard one. But remember, we want to create the one with two passwords. And so we're creating the hidden one. Now we are asked to create the normal node password. And then later we're asked to create the really secret one. Here we now need to create the file that we're going to select. So in order to do that, click on select file. Go to your desktop and just give this file that you're going to make a name. So I'll call it secret 12. And we'll save it and click next. Click next again and next again. Now we need to decide how big do you need this file to be? The files that I've got are about two gigabyte three. So let's make this a five gigabyte file. And now we need the password. Now remember this password is going to be the one that you don't really consider that top secret. And it opens the outer layer which the person who wants you to reveal your password will see the files that you're not worried about them seeing. Kind of fake secret files. Now 
Now it asks us, are you going to have larger than four gigabyte files? Let's say yes, but if you say yes, you have to make the file system NTFS. Actually, we'll say no, because we're not going to do that. I'll click next. Now, were you to say yes, you would have to make it NTFS. But we can leave it as FAT. FAT is good because it means you can actually open this pen drive on a Mac as well as a Windows PC. Now, I'm going to have to move my mouse around a lot. Just not clicking it, just moving it. And this movement helps it to be really encrypted. So I'm just moving the mouse around. Yada, yada, yada. And when the green gets to the end, I now click on Format. And then you can see it will start formatting here. Okay, so we click Next. And now we're going to create the really hidden volume. We've created the outer so-called secret volume. We click Next, Next again. And this time, within the five gigabyte folder that we just created, we can say, well, I only really need three gigabytes. And give it our special secret password. So this is the password that will open up the hidden side of this folder. Once again, you have to move your mouse around without clicking it. Just keep moving it. And now we click Format. And it's done. And now we can just click Exit. Now we have our secret 12 file made. Now the only way we can look into this five gigabyte folder, as you can see, is by opening Veracrypt. If you try to double click on it, you'll be given all of these options, but none of them will work. So notepad, uh, and there's nothing. It is a file system. So let's click on Veracrypt. Now, in order to open it, we have a choice of the not so secret password or the very top secret area. So let's open up the not so secret area. So we select the file, go to the desktop, click on the secret file. And now we have to mount it. So click on any of these letters and click mount. Now we're going to put in the not top secret password. So that's been created. What you need to do is click on the My PC and you can see here it says five gigabyte. So let's put something in there. So for this area, I'll just put in this starter form file and you can see there's five gigabytes available and then I'll close that out. And now I go back here and I simply dismount. And now if we go back, you can see that that drive doesn't exist anywhere. Now this time we're going to open up the top secret area and we do exactly the same as we did before, but putting in the top secret password. So we'll select the file, click any of these letters and click mount. Now we're going to put in the top secret password. Okay, that takes a little while. And you can see here, once I put in that top secret code, it says it's three gigabyte, not five. So this is the hidden type. 
because I put that password in. So here you can see it says three gigabyte, not five. So let's put in here two gigabytes worth of files. So as you can see, I have put in two gigabytes worth of files in this three gigabyte area, which means I've also put in two gigabytes worth of files in the five gigabyte area. So let's see what happens when we open up the non-secret top secret area, whether or not it reveals that I do have two gigabytes worth of files. So as usual, I dismount. And this time we're going to open this same file, but this time we're going to open it with a different password. So it's the same one, the secret 12. I'm going to mount it. I can even mount it in the same area, but I will give it the simplified password. That's not so secretive. And now you can see it says five gigabyte normal. So let's look at what we have. And here you can see it says five gigabyte is free of five gigabyte. But we know that's not true. We know that when we click in here, that there isn't just this file, but there's all those secret files, two gigabytes worth. So really it should say there's only two gigabytes free or three gigabytes free because I'm using up two gigabytes. So whoever asks you to reveal this password, they won't know that there's other files there because it's in the hidden folder. So once again, let's dismount and go back into that secret area. Simply dismount mount again, but with the top secret password. And there you can see three gigabyte hidden. And if we look in that place, we can see there is only one gigabyte free of three gigabytes, no mention of five gigabytes at all. And you can see there's your top secret folders. Okay. What's great about this is, is we can now dismount. And if we insert a pen drive, we can then move both this folder, which runs the program, and we can move the top secret file, both of them into the file, and you can transport it with you to work or wherever, and it will be safe. No one can ever see these files. Now, as you can see, I've put in a pen drive of 23 gigabyte. You can already see I have the Veracrypt folder here so that I can run Veracrypt from within this USB on any computer. But what you can't see is that if I press hidden items, there is a file called secure files three and it's hidden. So we can do the same to this file by right clicking it, going to properties and clicking on this icon hidden. Now watch as I click apply, it will disappear. Now in order to make it reappear or rather in order to see it and use it, we have to click on this icon here hidden. Now, if you're not sure where to see this in your folders, if you click on this icon and go to view, you will see it here. Now in another video, I've shown you how you can add this to the uh, quick toolbar area, but all you simply do is click on hidden items and there you can see our secret file and I can transfer this into this USB drive. Now that's going to take some time, so I'll just not bother with that. But what I can do is show you how I can open this file up. 
So I click on the VeraCrypt. I need to select the file, so I have to find it from my USB. Here it is. Open. And you can see it says D, secure files, and simply mount onto the person's L drive. And you can see it says two gigabytes hidden. And if we look, you can see I've mounted it on the L drive and we can go in and I put some books there of this language leader folder. And that's in the very top secret hidden file area. And so that's it. Simply dismount. And you can always unclick the hidden area. And no one will ever know that you have secret files or where they are. So that's how to use VeraCrypt. In another video, I'll show you how to actually make a partition. So instead of having a C drive, you can have a permanent E drive and you can encrypt that drive as well. But that's all you need to do to hide your files from anybody and also put in a password so that even if you're forced to reveal your password, you can reveal the false password and no one will be any the wiser. So see you on the next video.